from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. And Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the Apostles. And he reported to them how he had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken of boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with him in Jerusalem, and spoke up boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all of Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was in peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. The great consecration of the Holy Spirit is true in them.
reading from the first part of St. John. Children, let us love not the words or speech, but the deed and truth. Now, this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and we assure our hearts before you. And whatever our hearts can get, God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from Him whatever we ask. Because we keep His commandments and do what pleases Him. And His commandment is this. We should believe in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as He commanded us. Then those who keep His commandments remain in Him, and He in them. And the way we know that He remains in us is from the Spirit He gave us. So this 
time he says that he has to do that. When you think about that, why do you do that? You can see how I'm going to the testament to the image of something called the testament Flows from the 